and and we're going to get started. So welcome to the final stage four yellow quiz quiz of the 2022 tag con trivia games. Uh, that's a mouthful. Um, and <laughs> this is your la this is the last opportunity for anybody to qualify for uh, the finals that will be tomorrow morning at 11, I believe. Um, so uh, some of you, I've seen your names on some, of the, on some of the other quizzes today, and some of you look like you might be brand new. So I'm gonna go over the instructions and then I'm going to turn it over to our MC to, to do the quiz. Um, this quiz is being recorded, just so you know. The, game itself will be 20 questions um, in a quiz. The, there will be two additional questions that will be just for practice. They won't count towards your score. So you get an opportunity to um, test out how you do the answers if, in case you've never done a, a, a Kahoot quiz before. And then 20 questions relating to the tag books. Um, you do have to have two devices to play. The, the device that you're watching this on, which is where the questions will be displayed, and a second device that you will um, be able to get on the internet with and go to kahoot.it, um, www.kahoot.it, and that address is also on the Kahoot page we're going to share in just a minute. And um, so you have to go on your second device to that website, and that's where you'll actually put your answers in. Once you get to kahoot.it, you will enter the game code that will, you'll see on the screen, and you'll enter your Discord name, the name that you logged into Discord with. And, um, and that way we'll be able to find you if you are one of the winners. I'd like to introduce our MC for the evening, and we're really lucky to have the very, very first, <laughs> the very first <laughs> um, TagCon uh, trivia champion from 2020, Ms. Carrie Voswinkle, yay, <laughs> as our MC, and she'll be reading the questions with you and. Um, and I hope you all have a wonderful time and, and may, um, may the force be with you. <laughs> <laughs> may the odds be ever in your favor. <laughs> and may you be lucky, yeah. Um, so I'm going to share screen. And we'll give people um, a few minutes to get logged in. And uh, there's your pin up at the top. And right next to it is the, is the uh, URL or address for the Kahoot site. And it takes a few moments to see the, the see the screen. It'll say Shelly started screen sharing and it takes a, a minute or two to actually appear. So don't feel apologize it, it I, if you don't write up for me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I want to encourage everybody to enter, even if you don't think you'll do very good, because the first year that they had trivia, I just thought this will be really fun, but I probably won't do very good. And I went on to win it. So I surprised myself. And if you are a super fan, like I'm sure many of you are, you may surprise yourself at how well you do. So please enter and don't worry about if you're going to win or lose, just have fun. Also, I forgot, but the top five will move on to the next round, to the final round. And if you did end up in the top five in, in the red, blue, or green quiz, you, you can't play this game, but you can certainly watch it. So I'll give a, there were like 18 people on, so I'm hoping maybe the rest of them were all winners. I don't know. Oh, there's that another one. But, but if you haven't played before, you know, I want to make sure people have time to, to get the game pin in their device. And sometimes it's a little confusing to get started. Unfortunately, I don't have a way of, of asking if anybody's still trying to get in. So we just have to wait.
So we have six people on. I don't know if we're going to get more or not. And I say give people another minute, but pretty much everybody's in the room and it's not, doesn't take very long to set it up. So, no. But if you haven't played, uh, it's fun. You, even if you don't do really well, it's still fun. And even the best of us do a lot of guessing sometimes because there are areas that we're strong in and areas that we're not so good in. So anyway, the best of luck to everybody, all you brave contenders coming into the final sort of pre-trivia games of the Atlantis Grail. And <laughs> Should the I? five of you who do the best are going to move on to the finals. We've only got six people, so that means almost everybody has a chance to win. May the odds be with you. That's yes. like longer games. <laughs> Should I click start? And games are forever. Go ahead. All right. Games are forever. Oh. I'm having a little bit of difficulty with slow internet for some reason today that I've never had before, so. There we go. The first two questions, as Shelly said, are the test questions. Who is the author of the Atlantis Grail series? And not only do we provide you with the question, we actually provide you with the answer as well. But everybody should know this. And what you're going to see here, because you don't get any points for these first two questions, is who is the fastest? The answers are not only were you correct, but they're also how fast did you answer. So it's a balance. And it looks like Leah Ivy, and forgive me if I massacre anybody's name, is on top right now. Although, again, there are no scores yet. Oop. <laughs> I think you just moved away from the tab. Oh, not again. There we are. And which of these is the Atlantis Grail book for? Everybody hop in with your answers. Okay. We've got four people with the correct answer. So the top four are going to be people who got it right. And now we will move into the real questions. So here we go. Which gifts did Kokai and the Grail champions not throw during the parade? Got a bunch of choices here. Oh, ah. what's going on there, Shelly? I'm so sorry. Um, hold on there. So sorry. Takes a little while to update on our screen, so. We got only four answers on that, and I don't know if that was a timing thing or what, but anyway, Google Rolls is the correct answer, and three of you got it right. That would be rather messy if they had thrown Google Rolls. And I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correct or not, but. So we've got Lois in the lead, very close. Look at that, only two points. So you guys were very close, Lois and Sh and the Ivy is. I don't know if you. Well, there's a lot of uh, delayed speech on my computer, and I don't know what's causing it. Is it me being delayed, or? Is... Okay. Anyway, if Loranda were to I'm host so a zero G dance to... for Gwen's next birthday, sorry, oh, I don't oh. know why that's happening. On green amber at 16, what color would the dance be? And everybody had an opportunity to answer it, and three of you got it right. Six people answered, yeah. 
So you all got a chance to answer. I, I don't know why it's getting interrupted, but it keeps disappearing from my screen as well, which is why I'm a little bit slow in reading the questions. I apologize. Butch is now in the lead and Kitty moved up and Starry moved up. So Lois and Leia must have got that one wrong. What is the Maple Road Jackson High School principal's last name? You don't want to be sent to the principal's office. Ah! Got four choices there, got five answers. Got six answers and Markson is correct, uh, but only two of you got that correct. So that may, we may see some changes in the leaderboard. We did, and Lois is back on top again. She dropped two seconds, but again, only two points and labeled way up too. Kitty and Story down a little bit. When you have these close races, and even when you have races that seem insurmountable, you get a lot of points for a correct answer. So it's always worth it. What city does Logan pick for the semifinals? And again, we have two correct people. New York is the correct answer. Lots of people thought Chicago. They both have tall buildings. And we're changing leads again. This is going to swap out a lot. Leah, Ivy, and now we have Lois, and, Sh and Story's moving up a little bit. And our next question, who is the first Atlantean mentioned in Qualify? Got to think back there, because we have some pretty good choices. And only two of you got that right. A lot of people didn't go back quite far enough to the beginning of the book to catch them. Leia remained in first, moved up to second. And Lois and Story are pretty close. Kitty down in fifth. How does Ace and Nate and Affair McKay? We're going to have questions from pretty much all the books, except for Ace and Black. This one you maybe have to think about. And only one person remembered that one. Let's see who it was. And it apparently was because that was enough to move her into the front, but by only three points. We've got a good competition going here. The Atlantean fleet ship type Kepri is also the name of an Egyptian god that resembles a what? That's a tough one. Scarab, but a lot of you got it right. Very good. And another little trade of places, Leia up to the front, back in the game, and Story and Kitty both moved up. Lois down a little bit, but again, look how close we are. What is George's middle name? Hmm, good picture. Answer is Nestor, but there were again a lot of good choices there. So two of you were right on top of it. We'll see if the lead stays the same or shifts. Oh, it stayed the same. So both Leia and Sh got that one correct. 
That's going to be a tough fight. What is Logan Sangre's older brother's name? I think many of you should be able to get this one correct, but you never know. Questions that seem easy are sometimes hard. Jeff is the correct answer. And there's four of you who got that one. You may see some changing of places. We did indeed. Lois moved up several places. She is on a streak. And there's a tiny bit of a lead opening up, but that's very small lead. What is the second month in each season? Do you know your Atlantean calendar? Four of you do. No, two of well, uh, one of you did. Okay. Pegasus, who got that one right? Are they going to move way up or? Ah, Kitty moved way up. Got that one right. Everybody else stayed in, in their relative positions to each other. Now we have question 13. Zap is from the Northern Sesamet province. Sesamet means, we've got a couple of choices there. Force, and only one person got that right as well. And it was Leah, because she was the only one who changed her score. But the positions all remain the same. By what age must Asen choose his bride? And the answer is 19, and two of you got that right. And that was featured a few times because it was pretty important. Uh, Lois moved up, so she got it right. And we're, Leah is drawing away a little bit here. In which season was the second quantum stream race held? Think about this one. Think about what was going on for the second quantum stream race. And nobody remember that one. Yep, that one was tough, but it was yellow season because it was right when they were getting ready to land on Atlantis almost, or right before, a month or so before. Where does Aeson first meet Caravat Ruo? <laughs> I like that graphic. And it was in line for the bathroom, indeed. They were both young boys standing in line. And we will see how that went. So some more people got that right and switched, but nobody switched places. Okay, now which territory was no longer an option for Aeson to receive from the Imperator? The Great Knockout Plateau, half of you got it right. And we don't have any changes in position there at all, nothing. Changes in scores, but no shift in position. Question 18, we got six more to go. In what class does Gwen earn her first credit? Answers are coming in fairly steadily. The answer is Atlantis Tech, three of you got that right. And once again, no changes in positions. Everybody holding steady here. 
An Atlantean kiss on your wrist is called a somebody's got volume on. That's weird. And four of you got that right. Remembered that it was indeed a pulse kiss. And story moved up a little bit. Lois is making a comeback. Leia is still in first place, but she is getting a little bit closer. And again, each question is worth quite a few points. So don't ever write yourself off. How many hours of emergency oxygen are in an Atlantean spacesuit? A couple of people answered that exactly the same time. The correct answer is one half hour and only one of you got it right. These are some pretty tough questions. And Lois has an answer streak of four in a row. So it looks like she was the one who got it correct. She moved up a little bit. Still in the same place though, moved up in score, but remained in third. Two more questions. Which of the Lark family members did not display the Lobos voice? And the correct answer there, a lot of you got Grace and George. Indeed, they did not. And we didn't have any position changes there. So here is your final question. Mason's two bed neighbors in his first year at cadet school were Arita Quas and who else? Got some good choices there again. Chiliar Bahad was the correct answer, and half of you got it right. So who have we got on the podium today? Looks like our third place is Lois. Yay. And then in second, we have Shh. And I believe we are going to have Leah Ivy on the top. She did very well. Congrats to everyone. Thank you so much for participating. I hope you had fun. We had fun writing the questions. I hope you had fun playing the games. And. And uh, yeah, Shelly, I don't know if you want to say that or not, but those of you who were winners, uh, you need to send your uh, contact information, your mailing address, basically, to Aunt Nan in Discord, uh, because she is the one who is going to be compiling the list for prize distribution. And with your with your real name, your you know your that you want to receive mail with. Yes, your real contact information that you can, as Shelley just said, receive mail. With and those of you who are winners will be admitted. Hopefully, your schedules will permit you to compete in the finals tomorrow. And I and I did keep forgetting to tell people, but there is a special champions room on Discord that you. Um, I think um, Na Aunt Nan will give you access to. Um, if you want to just get together and chat or whatever, and I think that's uh, yeah, yeah. It's it's just a room. It's it's just a room that that other people don't have access to. Is that where they put the link for the finals? I can't remember. Well, it's it seems to me that anybody can go into finals. That's true. You can go into watch, watch but um, but the only people who can actually put their names on the screen, you know, and and put in you know, and and play are the are the 20 Complete. are the 20 are the winners so we have 20 people now we have 20 people who will be competing against each other for the grand prizes tomorrow and the title again which is kind of fun i have been pretty proud of being the 
the first winner of the jury contest and I know Mary loved it. And I think actually Mary oh, yeah. was my toughest <laughs> competitor that first year and she went on. I, 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 was, right, I was right behind you. I, I was, you I was right second. behind me all the way, oh, right? You were yeah. Yeah. And basically I'm just totally impressed with both of them because they, <laughs> they remember things I simply just don't. Um, yeah. <laughs> If I had to run it again today, I would probably not do near so good. <laughs> but it was a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun with it, and I hope you all had a lot of fun with it. Yeah. They can write a mean question, that's for sure. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, yeah, <laughs> we'll leave it at that. <laughs> so, um, so basically, we are done with, this is the conclusion of Saturday's panels. And, and other sessions, but if you are wanting to stay up even later, um, I don't know where you're located in the world, but um, for some of us, it's starting to get pretty late in the evening. Um, for others of you, it might be very early in the morning, I don't know. But if you do wanna stay up uh, another half hour or so, there will be one final live fan chat session this evening yet. Um, it starts at 11 p.m. Eastern time. Um, and it's just going to be a general chat just to maybe um, talk about what you liked the most during the day, you know, who are your favorite um, speakers and panelists and, and what you liked and, and maybe what you'd like to see next time. So um, come back, um, go to Discord actually and get the link for the chat. Um, and otherwise, if you can't uh, attend that chat tonight, uh, then the first live session tomorrow morning is at 9 a.m. Eastern time. And I believe that's the art um, contest. Yes, yes, it is. Yes, the art, the art contest um, entries and, um, and some of the art from previous years. So you'll get to see a compilation of a lot of fan art that's been done mm -hmm. over, over the last several years. That will be kind of fun. Yeah, if you look at the Discord channels, you'll see the first one on the Sunday activities is an author reading, but that's pre-recorded and you can actually go and watch that at any time. It's live yeah. now. It's been yeah, live from the beginning of the conference. So that's you on YouTube that up at any time. You don't have to go on to Zoom for that or anything. Um, so anything else for the good of the nation? Um, Terry, Mary, Carrie? I think we're good. I believe we've covered everything. There will be, as Shelly said, a, a casual chat right after this. And then tomorrow there's another focused fan chat and then a final uh, chat at the very end after the closing ceremonies. And as Shelly again already said, we are always looking for ideas for what we did right, what you liked, and any ideas you might have for future cons. Great. Okay. So, righty. Good evening, everybody, and we'll maybe see you later. Okay. All right. Bye-bye.